Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We have some Rogue Class Starfighter release news to talk about. We finally got confirmation, official acknowledgement, and the official reveal of the Rogue Class Starfighter. So we don't have to kind of go through little sneaky, you know, leaks from a distributor and all of that other stuff. We actually have an official acknowledgement, official social media postings from Atomic Mass Games for the Rogue Class Starfighters. We're going to talk about that in today's video. If you guys are new here, we are still doing a big giveaway, and this one is a kicking off for the Shadow Collective for Star Wars Legion. It's a $70 Amazon gift card giveaway, basically giving away a Shadow Collective starter set. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, of course, you don't have to use that if you're not playing Legion. You could always use that for X-Wing merch or uh, merch of your choice, uh, but if you're a Legion player, then it's enough to get yourself a uh, Shadow Collective core set. Uh, so that'll be running until uh, the Shadow Collective comes out, which I believe is supposed to be this summer. We don't have a release date on it yet, but we've got probably two months, so plenty of time to enter to win that. Uh, so if you're already subscribed, you're already halfway there. Um, also want to thank today's sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. Uh, be sure to head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. They've got some amazing tokens. You've seen me talk about them before. They're gorgeous. They're shiny. They're beautiful. They're heavy. They're double-sided. Uh, they're absolutely magnificent. You're going to use code VIP and save 15%. So don't forget to use that code. Orders that use that code uh, of $35 or more are going to get a free Krabok token. It's got the C on the front, the five on the back is light side versus dark side, lightsaber nunchucks on this token. You can mark critical hits with it. You can mark damage in other games. It's an amazing token. You're gonna get that for free by using that code. So be sure to head over to Luxury Playstyle. Don't forget code Krabok VIP. All right, so let's talk about the Rogue Class Starfighter. Now, we had certainly we knew that this was coming. This is one of the final two uh, ships coming from Fantasy Flight that Atomic Mass Games is helping get kind of out the door. Uh, this is a two pack. You know, they're not really doing single uh, small ship blister packs anymore. Uh, the Z95 is going to be the same way. You're going to be getting two of these in a box. And, and part of this is that it's just not as cost effective to have a single ship in a small little blister that still has to be shipped and has to have cargo space. By putting two ships in here, they're still protected. You're able to ship more product. It saves packaging material and all of that. It's just a cost-saving measure. Um, and, and generally, this is good for a lot of people. A lot of people will generally want to buy at least two of a ship and it's actually like a two dollar savings if you buy you know if you compare the cost of these two packs to the the cost of what is now the the single packs that are left over the prices have kind of increased to a point where it's actually a slightly better deal to get to two of these and uh and that's good the only really the only real way you kind of lose on this is if you only wanted exactly one or exactly three uh, because then if you wanted a third one, then you'd have to kind of buy a whole nother two, or maybe you split one with somebody else. That's certainly an option. And this being a dual faction pack, you're going to be getting scum and separatist versions of uh, this ship in here. We do get a look at uh, some of the actual physical ship models, as well as the cardboard and uh, some of the pilots. Of course, we can see Cad Bane uh, right over here in, of course, the, the Xanadu blood paint scheme. And then we also have a separatist pilot, which is uh, something something 110-111 maybe. It's, it's a numbered pilot. So again, this is a droid pilot, uh, presumably with a name like 111 at the, you know, uh, nobody gives their kids, you know, numerical names unless, of course, they're droids or, well, no, no, some people call people seven, seven was used for it. Anyway, um, you know, Voyager, but that was, she was a, she was a Borg, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> no, so we are going to be also getting our separatist color scheme here. Now, it doesn't mean you have to use one particular color scheme with any particular faction, if you want to use the gray one in your scum lists, if you want to use the Xanadu blood in your uh, separatists, uh, Cad Bane is coming in as a separatist, though. Uh, it's it, it, granted we haven't seen there's a whole lot we haven't seen from this pack, so it is possible he still could end up being a uh, uh, a separatist as opposed to scum. Uh, rather, so Cad Bane is coming in as scum and not a separatist. But again, there could still be potentially the option to run Cad Bane as a separatist as well. Although I don't think they're going to go that route since the other bounty hunters, you know, like they took Boba out of the Empire and things like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we got to look at Cad Bane's uh, pilot card here, which gives us a lot of information. So first we'll talk about just the basic stats of the Rogue class, and then we'll uh, kind of explore Cad Bane specifically. Only initiative 
four, which is a little interesting. Uh, great artwork on here too, by the way. You got the uh, the Tatooine sunset going on in the background. Really like Jabba's palace there. It's very cool. It's uh, it's beautiful, beautiful art piece, uh, and it's it's a nice way for them to kind of continue to be able to do. Uh, shots of ships that's not just a starry background. You know, it's always kind of cool to be able to show ships in atmosphere. So uh, basically, this is a, a, a regular forward primary arc. Uh, forward, you know, forward 90 degrees and uh, two attack value. Not that strong for its attack, but it's got ways to make that work. It's got two defense, five hull, and two shields. So, uh, you know, reasonably survivable, but not... Certainly not in the uh, in the realm of medium ship territory, but <clears throat> but it's uh, it's it's a little tanky for a small ship, a little tanky for a small ship. It definitely seems like it's going to have some repositional abilities. Now this particular version, Cad Bane's does have two charge, but that's for his pilot ability. I don't think all of the rogue classes are going to have two charge. That's probably just Cad Bane. Um, as far as actions, we can we got some chain, lots of chaining actions. We've got focus into a boost. Focus into a barrel roll, or I should say white focus into red boost, or white focus into red barrel roll, white evade into red barrel roll, white target lock, and red boost all by itself. So repositioning is going to be very, very important for this ship, and uh, we're going to see that uh, in its ship uh, ability, dead to rights. That states, while you perform an attack, now this does not have to be a primary attack, just says, well, you perform an attack. So if this thing can take missiles or torpedoes, those are also going to get this ability. Uh, it says, while you perform an attack, if the defender is in your bullseye, uh, defense dice cannot be modified using green tokens. So that is a pretty interesting. Now, this is was definitely designed before the 2.5 rule set. Uh, so, but the, the interesting uh, kind of way that this works is that this will potentially also work for range zero attacks because you can, again, you, you still can't uh, modify those dice anyway, but now that your defender can't. So, uh, so that is interesting uh, if you happen to bump somebody. So, um, but so that's that's I think that's a pretty a pretty decent ability, especially for to make use of somebody who has only two attack dice. If you're stopping your opponent from being able to, uh, you know, from being able to, you know, react to that, then uh, I think then that's that's a pretty good thing. You're more likely to get damaged through. Uh, and so uh, that's kind of what it looks like. You're going to definitely want to use those actions to 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 reposition to kind of line up those shots. Uh, and, uh, and it'll be interesting to see, you know, what other upgrades, what the, uh, presumably there'll be a Xanadu Blood title in here, if not multiple titles. I don't know if the Separatists will also get a title, but the Xanadu Blood is, uh, of course, Cad Bane's uh, Rogue Class Starfighter, so I do expect to see that, and I'm curious how that will interact with how this ship kind of wants to, kind of, kind of wants to just, uh, you know, force damage through. Uh, and so... Uh, I'll also be curious to see if there's any way to increase the uh, the attack value on this ship, whether, you know, because it, it's not completely unheard of to have a title that increases your stats. You know, we've seen things like that before. Um, so this says, uh, Cad Bane, let's talk about Cad Bane, the infamous bounty hunter. His uh, initiative, four, which means he's certainly not an ace in this case, but uh, but that could be... Um, you know, like he's kind of in that in that middle ground, which is going to be interesting. I wonder if you'll be able to, uh, you know, maybe maybe something like snapshot on him that could also potentially trigger dead to rights. You know, might be maybe an option. I'm not sure. Um, he says after you perform an attack that hits, and that's, that's important. That hits. Now that automatically synergizes with what this ship wants to do with dead to rights. So after you perform an attack that hits. You may spend two charge to transfer one of your non-lock red or orange tokens to the defender. Well, we do know that this ship can ha very, very easily generate a stress token for itself. It's got uh, almost everything it can do can chain into a red action or just generate a red action on its own. We don't know what kind of dial this has, though. We don't know what kind of blue maneuvers it's going to have to shed stress on its own. So it's unclear... Um, how important it's going to be to be able to to trigger that ability. You know how how crucial is it? Like my, I guess my if you, if you fail to line up the bullseye shot and you you know and you, like you did a boost, you didn't quite get the bullseye in there, or maybe you did, but they just you know you only rolled one hit on your attack 
or uh, you know, and you rolled a blank and you had focus, and you couldn't. You, basically, what happens if you don't get the damage through? You don't trigger his ability. How punishing is that going to be for you? How much blue uh, maneuvers is this ship going to have? And that's that's really the question. Hopefully, it's got some some blue bank mover, uh, maneuvers uh, as a you know instead of just you know like usually some of the punishing dials just have like a you know a one straight or a two straight blue or something like that. And and uh, presumably, you know this will uh, hopefully or hopefully this will have a little bit more uh, a little bit more blue than just that. Um, but that's uh, that's about it. This is really the only spoiler they gave us. They also included uh, uh, Notorious in the uh, this particular spoiler spread that they gave us yesterday. Uh, but however, this is not a new card. This came out in the Mandalorian wave. This was one of the Razor Crest cards. Um, uh, but usually, when they give you something like this, it's a way to say, "Hey, um, it, it probably comes in the pack, right?" And, it, and it's a way for it to be available to Separatists without them having to buy the Razor Crest, because presumably this will be a card that you might want to run with Cad Bane. Uh, so if you're not familiar with it, or if you're just listening instead of watching, it's, uh, it's an elite pilot talent that does require uh, an illicit equipped, which does tell us that Cad Bane will have both a talent and an illicit minimum. All right? Uh, but he, and it's, uh, it's a two-up charge. Uh, it says after you defend, if the attacker is in your firing arc, that doesn't have to be in Bullseye, by the way, just if they're in your firing arc, uh, you may spend a charge. If you do, the attacker gains a strain token. While you perform an attack, if the defender is strained, you may reroll one blank result. So I think strain is kind of basically a way that you're going to want to run uh, You know the rogue classes. If, you know, if you've got only two... Wouldn't you write, like to reduce the number of uh, of dice that they are rolling? I think that's what that's probably what this ship is going to be doing. It's going to be saying, "Hey, look, I've only got two attack, but I'm going to make sure I get two damage through uh, as often as possible, as and as often as possible." It's 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 doing that uh, through possibly strain. I, I'm assuming there will be other mechanics that either a um, generate strain or b work with strain and kind of take advantage or exploit strain uh and probably something that does the same thing for stress as well uh and so that's kind of what this ship is going to try to do it's going to try to strain you out stress you out uh reduce your ability to defend yourself and then punish you for it uh but however it since there's only two damage uh, that it can do well or or three at range one and i think that's really going to be a sweet spot um, and then, then, then it can, it can make you punish, it, you know, it can punish you just a little bit with that. So that's kind of how it seems like it's going to want to work. It's going to want to be up close and personal. It's going to want to be lining up those bullseye arcs and, and maneuvering as best it can and, uh, and trying to force, force that damage through. That's what it looks like to me, but well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm curious if the separatists pilots will kind of uh, do the same thing. I'm curious if the separatist chassis of the rogue class starfighter has the same abilities and the same basic design and base same basic stats or if we're going to see uh dramatic departures between the two uh versions so uh, again let me know what you your thoughts if you haven't already check out the discord we got links in the description below you can check out uh social media crabock.com uh, discord all that stuff it's all in there uh so if you want to stay tuned to the latest as we get more information i will be bringing it to you so make sure you're already subscribed click that bell for alerts like the video share the video tell your friends uh, if you see a good comment reply to it let them know you think they said something good and keep the discussion going in discord all right guys that's going to do it for today's video let me know your thoughts i will talk to you guys later big thanks to my patrons you guys are fantastic and i couldn't do this without you so thank you for your continued support and i will talk to you all later make sure not to let catwoman steal the safe out of your office she's in your house right now oh no call batman <laughs>